I love Vesper and molecular geometry and you will too after this banger of a video. How do you draw or predict molecular geometry? Well, you either memorize it or you draw the Lewis structure for yourself. Sulfur brings six valence electrons each and fluorine brings seven, but I have six of them, so that's 42 contributed. That gives me 48 electrons to be distributed around the Lewis structure. Sulfur sits in the middle and the fluorines surround it. I like single bonding my central atom to all of the outer atoms first. That uses up two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve of the 48 electrons. Then I fill the outer octet on all of the outer, sorry, I fill the octet, complete the octet on all the outer atoms. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48. I stop once I get to the number here. If I have extras, I dump them all. Like if I have extras, once I've completed all the octets on the outer atoms, I dump them on the center atom. This is it, this is my Lewis structure for SF6. This sulfur has six bonds and no lone pairs. In Vesper land, they call that AX6 with a very optional E0. The E0 means no lone pairs. And that itself, I want you to just know that six things with no lone pairs on the central atom is called octahedral geometry. I know it's weird that octa is for six. It's because the shape itself, when you have the sulfur, pretend these are all sitting flat, and then the sulfur sitting up and above, this triangular prism actually ends up with eight faces. That's what the hedra word means in octahedral. It's kind of like you have a pyramid going upward and a pyramid going downward. Each pyramid has four faces. That makes eight for octa. You didn't care. You just wanted to know it was octahedral. If you haven't closed the video so far, let me tell you about hybridization. The hybridization of all octahedral things is generally sp3, d2, because you need six equivalent molecular orbitals to create six sigma bonds with each of the outer atoms. You don't need to worry about anything because of lone pairs on the center. This is it. I did it for you. You heard it here first. Chemist Nate, your hero. Best of luck.